your channel, they call me Mitchell. And this is your intuitive message for today, Tuesday, June 23rd, 2015. And as always, thank you for taking time to watch this. So yesterday, it kind of hit me again, inspirationally and from spirit that, you know, as I think of so many of you out there who are feeling so much more empathically feeling, you know, and, and the energy and the shifts and the moves and the changes. And I was just pondering that as I was driving or something. And then in my quiet time just now, I, I thought about it more. And Spirit pretty much delivered this to me that our empath, and some of you this won't be news too, but our empathic abilities, our abilities to feel what others around us are feeling, to feel what the earth, the shifts, the energies are, our ability to feel that is actually part of a soul growth tool. So in other words, here's what spirit was telling me. And it's for me, it feels like a theory, but actually it, in my logical brain, it feels like a theory, but my soul and spirit tells me it's not, it's real. And that is when we can feel the experience through somebody else, we are probably not gonna have to fully go through that. So, you know, I was telling someone yesterday, I don't have a child, but if I, connect with someone and feel their pain and loss of a child or heartbreak over their children and what's going on in their lives. By me experiencing that, it affects my soul and my soul's growth. Therefore, it's expediting it quite fast in this lifetime where I feel like many of us maybe are coming back, coming back, coming back or experiencing multiple lives in parallel universes and this way we're able to expedite it or speed it up and I think that's why so many people are having such a hard time you know right now as the earth is speeding up we're speeding up we're growing so embrace your empathic abilities and realize <clears throat> it's part of your growth it's part of what's going to get you there faster and as I was talking to my friend yesterday I said you know what if all of a sudden it's too painful tell your guides your angels your higher self listen you know pull back just a little bit you know give me a breathing room some of y'all like slow climbs some of you like intervals you know just depends on I used to say I'm a ficus so move me slowly at a time to get me to the other side but lately I've been feeling some of the spurts so <clears throat> excuse me so Connect with your guys and let them know how you want to grow. And if it's too much, say, time out, give me a little bit of break, you know, but make sure you're taking those breaks. Make sure you're taking time off and, and going on vacations and finding your downtime and your hermit time. Because if you don't do that, they're going to shut you down with an illness so you do get your break. So there's your pretty wild and maybe unusual for some of you message. Um, so let's move into today's energy. Today, 23, 23 bulls down to number five. Five is a moving, shifting, changing, transitional freedom, versatility number, and all the numbers add up today <clears throat> to number one. <clears throat> you hear that? I think there's dairy in my diet. To number one, beginning, it's the masculine principle. You know, it's leadership, innovation, and Lenormand to go along with that today. This is me. This came up yesterday for Monday. So today, this is me. This is a man in your life. If you're a man, this is you. Because Lenormand becomes, that's the significant, which is you. Ooh, having trouble shuffling. The terror to go along with that man is the three of swords. Did this come up the same as yesterday? Nope, but it, it, it felt like it did. So this is loss. This is tears. This is releasing things. This is that empath empathic feeling I was just talking about. So you may be losing the connection with someone. You, this may be a relationship breaking up. This may just purely be a loss that you're experiencing and going through. Let the tears flow. Let it out of your system rather than suppress it. Also, tomorrow, number 24, 24th day of June, boils down to number six. Six is that home, domestic work, family focus. It's the marriage, divorce. It's service-oriented, nurturing, balancing. And all the numbers add up to number two which is the feminine principle and cooperation, relationship, unity. And Lenormand for tomorrow is heart card. So very interesting because that goes along with it quite a bit because that unity and relationships. And the tarot to go along with the heart card is king of swords. So this could be about a relationship with a king of swords character. King of swords are often our lawyers, detective, policemen, you know, judges, very logical thinking people, engineers. <clears throat> and there are Aries, excuse me, not Aries, um, Aquarius, Aquarius, <laughs> Gemini, and Libra, the air symbols. So tomorrow there definitely could be some relationship. It could be something new. It could be just a bonding experience. Um, or it could, this could be about you and just, you know, matters of the heart for tomorrow. So there you go. So 
Check out my website if you feel led, intuitivemitchell.com. I will be doing in-person readings in Oviedo um, July 18th, and then I'll do them also July 25th in Kissimmee, Florida. So opposite ends of the Central Florida area. And what else I got going on? I think that's about it. Oh, um, and I'm at Reader Studio in New York in end of April next year. I will be presenting a, stu a study workshop there. So I hope you guys can make it. Talk to you tomorrow. Namaste. Bye-bye.